and welcome. You are watching the Straight Beer News. I am your host, Chris Hardy, and today we'll be talking about Guinness's plans for a new brewery in Maryland. The parent company of Guinness, Diageo, this week announced their intention to build a new plant or a new brewery for Guinness in the United States. And this will be the first time in 60 years that product of the beer has been brewed in America. The plan is to take an existing shuttered plant owned by Diageo that had formerly been a whiskey plant and turning it into a production brewery. This is a, a plant that's going to be located or that is located in South Baltimore County in Maryland and they plan to invest upwards of 50 million dollars to bring, bring this building into the, the brewery and the development that they want it to be. And the purpose of this new brewery in, um, in America is they're hoping to develop beers to taste, to, to be more suited to the taste of the American palate. They've, they will not be doing any Guinness stout here, that's going to remain in Ireland and it will be shipped here as an import. Uh, but it will be a test kitchen, a trial place uh, to develop new beers, new tastes, things for the American consumer and the American market. They're hoping that it goes well enough to, um, to attract people from all over. Apparently it's situated in close proximity to multiple transit routes, so it should be relatively easy to get to. And this tourist destination, they're going to have tours of the brewery, of the facility, and it's going to have a restaurant and tap room. And they're hoping that it can be a, a, a large place that will attract many people from all around the country and all around the world. They want it to be similar to what they have in Ireland, but on American shore. Guinness says that it is going to uh, hire about 70 people to run the brewery. Um, not just the brewery, but split almost evenly between the, the brewery side and the, uh, the welcoming hospitality side, meaning the, the restaurants and such. The final building and construction all hinges upon an agreement between Guinness and the state um, concerning the liquor license. The, the liquor licenses currently available in Maryland are capped at a 500 barrel um, sales limit and they're expecting, at least they're hoping that this will be much beyond that and they're hoping that they can sell 5,000 barrels but it would require a new liquor license on the, on the part of the state of uh, Maryland. So if all these negotiations go well and they come to a compromise or come to a deal, then they, they expect to um, be on track for the construction of the brewery. And they are hoping that it will be uh, open sometime in the fall of this year, of, 20, of 2017. So now if you haven't been able to before, you can now say that beer is among one of those things that Maryland does. Get crab cake and football. That's what Maryland does. Well, thanks for watching. That'll do it for us for today. Again, this is the Straight Beer News. I have been your host, Chris Hardy. Uh, come back and see my videos. I will be posting every week multiple videos at a time. So please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to leave me a comment, you can do that in the comment section below. You can follow me on social media as well. I'm on multiple uh, media sites, including Twitter, Twitter and Instagram. So you can check those sites in the description of this video uh, down below. If you're interested in my past videos, I'll have some of those coming up that might be of interest to you. Click on those to see what those are like. And if you like what I do, there's also a subscription button, the, the big S, the old English S that'll appear here on the screen. Click it as well, and it'll take you to uh, a subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. See you next time.